everyone. Welcome back uh, to the show. And we've talked about this before with our makeup artists on the program. I always thought that Halloween would be a bit of a tough day to be a makeup artist. Well, it's a artist. busy day for sure, and that's yeah. why you should book in advance if you want to get your makeup done. We are joined by the ladies from Mika Makeup right now, uh, Karen Shoji and also Elizabeth Ryan. How are you, ladies? Hi, Great ladies. Great. How are you? Thanks for having us. Uh, good day to be a makeup artist, Karen, or, or you just have to organize yourself very well around Halloween. You have to be very organized, but I always look forward to it like weeks in advance. Kind of and you guys are already booking holiday makeup too, is that right? Yes, we are. Christmas we're planning week. that for an advance already. <laughs> well, we're talking Halloween wow. today, and uh, I guess the advice we're about to give could be given uh, any time of year. False eyelashes. Yes. Um, How to put them on. We thought we'd do a quick demo on false eyelashes. So what you need is duo adhesive. It's a lash glue. It's nice and stretchy, so when you put it on, when you take it off at the end of the night, you can just peel them right off. You don't have to use a lot of makeup. And this one here is an actual surgical glue. Does it feel glue. weird when you It's called surgical on? adhesive. Must. Yeah, adhesive, yeah. So it's hypoallergenic and all that stuff. Mm, it's made of latex, so anybody with a latex allergy shouldn't use it. Nor should they put condoms on their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's probably not recommended either. If you find out that way, so you perhaps just... you should revisit a lot of now, things you in your life. Your little tool here. Uh, to put the glue on the lash. Yep, that's just a metal spatula, but you could use a toothpick or the end of your makeup brush, flip it around, and you're just trying to line the lash with a little bit of glue. And so you've done a line. really thin layer of glue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you put too much glue on, it's okay because the glue dries clear. It does. And we're just aiming now for the top of her lash line and right on top of the liquid liner. So you rest it on top of her eyelashes. You can tell I'm really trying to learn how to do this properly. I can't do this. <laughs> It's hard to do on yourself, so sometimes people would like to come into the studio and get their lashes put on, even right. if they do their own makeup, because yeah. it is a tricky thing to do. Um, I've got little tweezers here, so I'm just going to move the lash around while there's, the glue's drying, Yeah. and just put it in place. You want it to be as close as you can get to the lash line, Right. and then with your fingers, you can just pinch it together and make sure that you're, you don't have a double lash line when you open your eye, right. that they're sitting properly. That looks so. a little cray cray. Okay. Open your eyes. How long do you have before go. it sets? How long do you have before it actually? You gotta work within three minutes, I'd say. Okay. And you'll see the glue <laughs> will start to go clear. So sometimes I'll just shake the lash on a little bit, let it dry a little bit more than just solid white, and then put it on because it's not it'll as messy. Because it'll stick better. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, now, Elizabeth, you were telling us a little bit about some trends that you're seeing in Vancouver as well with uh, with costuming. And well, of course, the slut trend never dies. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, you, we, we are all three of us. We do not believe. Well, I'm sure you guys don't either, but we got to get away from that a little we, bit. Yeah, we want the pendulum to swing back. We want to go back to horror, to macabre. It's time horror. to yeah. She said yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. I, I always think the costumes that are the most fun are the ones that are clever or really well done. I mean, anybody can buy a costume at a costume shop and throw it on with fishnets. Michael, yes. your favorite. Wow. And that's why the homemade costume is so great. But what's trending right now, especially in Vancouver, yes. I mean, you've seen it all over Mexico, of course, Texas, LA. But Day of the Dead makeup and costumes are And this makeup is incredible. How long did this take? This one probably took about three hours, all said and done. Yeah, lots of different And look at steps. her lashes she's got on there. Those look like tarantulas. <laughs> Those are Makeup Forever lashes that you can buy at Sephora. Um, we also use this palette here, which is a cream palette. So it's got all your colors in it. If you want to do a really um, like skull-like makeup, you can use these creams. Um, I'm just going to show you how it blends. So we have a white cream on, and we're just going to blend the black into the white and do a little bit of shading on the spider web here. Just to give it a little accent. Yeah, just give it a little bit of depth. You so guys. you can see how the white and the black blend really nicely together. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to line it with a waterproof liner. So is this stuff easy to take off? Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Fingers Elizabeth, crossed. Three hours to go on. How long would it take to get My this My favorite on? part, though, you're is the next day. The base. Like, yeah. you're, you see people with a little bit of a blue hue who are avatars. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I'm just lining all the detail. You want to use a waterproof product so that it doesn't smudge off throughout the night. Um, but yeah, it will take you quite a while. And a lot of steaming hair, in the shower and, and uh, her costume and hair, everything, everything is incredible. We had a lot of fun with this one. Yeah, no yeah. very cool. Now let's bring out uh, our other model who is also also day a of day of the, the dead. dead. But this is a little different. It's a little scarier. Um, it's a split face, so it's meant to look like the skin is actually peeling back, as if rats or 
spider <laughs> had been feasting on really. it. <laughs> yeah, gross. So all done in shades of black and white. And the way you do this split face, it's the first step in your makeup. You start with spirit gum and you trace a line down the center of the face and then you take a cotton ball and you pull it apart and you just roll it into little worms and you want to stick it to your spirit gum. <laughs> And then you've got the divider, you've got the border. Yep, you have the border. Alive. The and scar you, tissue, the non The scar place. tissue, which yeah. I've accentuated with blue and yellow and some festering green. <laughs> but mostly with blood, which you can make yourself, and it's very fluid. You actually brought a uh, blood recipe, which you guys will have on your website, uh, or maybe on our website? No, on, on their website. On their we'll website. have it on our blog. So, uh, so you guys can uh, look on the blog, uh, mikamakeup.ca, for your own blood recipe, and this is a good And one look at, like this is, you can just put this yeah. in your recipe card holder in the kitchen. Yeah. Blood. 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 <laughs> yeah, and the blood's actually great. This is what gives the the border its depth. So you can just go in and fill in the cracks. You can make It's good blood too. Yeah. It's the full arterial color. That's yeah. well oxygenated blood. <laughs> and it's edible. Oh yes. really? Yeah. Is it a little bit well. sweet? <laughs> That'll come in handy if you meet someone else who's dressed as a horror later on in the <laughs> You made, silence. You made, you made the best if dramatic, some, awkward silence ever. We could add some crickets in there. That would be awesome. Okay, so if you want to get your makeup done by Mika, uh, make an appointment now, mikamakeup.ca. They do have a few spaces open for the upcoming weekend. Of course, a lot of people are having parties, and then Halloween itself is on Monday. So nice to see you guys. Nice to see you guys. Thank you, you so guys. much. Look at, she's like, look at the Elizabeth camera. Elizabeth is just pointing them around. Get there it right. There we go. We're going to take a quick break and when we return we have some music from Wes Mackey right after those don't go away <laughs>